Hey Indiana, State Champs is back with another fantastic show. Lots of high school basketball to show you. That's right, but we try to bring you the entire high school sports experience. We made it out to some swimming in Zionsville and a pair of hockey games in Fort Wayne. It's tourney time. State Champs starts now. is presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. Also working in partnership with the Indiana High School Athletic Association. Thanks for joining us once again here on Fox Sports Midwest, or if you're checking it out on Fox Sports Indiana, this is State Champs High School Sports Show. I'm Lauren Plant. Lawrence Technological University is our presenting partner, and we have got another great show for you. That's right. I'm Kiara Hay, and we know there are so many of you out there who love high school sports just as much as we do. Well, this is your show. It was just basketball day in Indiana. We've got a six-pack of hoops highlights coming up for you. Our main event at the end of the show is the Marion County title tilt between Lawrence Central and Warren Central. That's right. And hey, if you play eSports, specifically League of Legends, we have the best league in the Midwest and the only one that has a 16-team winner-take-all tournament with huge prizes and tons of scholarship money to go to Lawrence Tech. We have some teams from Indiana. We want more. It's entirely free. Registration ends this week. Go to statechampsesports.net right now. We'll talk about it more later in the program. But for now, let's start the highlights. We begin in boys basketball. Several county tournaments taking place across the Hoosier State. The Johnson County title up for grabs in Edinburgh. Center Grove Trojans, the favorite, defending county champs. However, needed double overtime to beat Greenwood in the tourney semis. The opposition, the Grizzly Cubs of Franklin Community, nine and four on the season, also coming off a five point win in beating Indiana Creek and Whiteland in their last two matchups. This game, a rematch from the opener in which Center Grove won by double digits. Franklin with the chance at revenge and a county tourney title. Blaine Wenzel from 15 out, the senior with the mid-range J. Fourth ranked Center Grove, 11 and four on the campaign. Another senior, Spencer Piercefield. The catch and shoot from the deep corner. That triple increases the Trojan lead. Cubs doing a nice job here in transition. It's Wenzel again. Coast to coast, the nice move in the paint. The comeback continues. But near the end of the third, CG not having it. Trojans relying on their biggest resource for success, Trace Jackson Davis. The 6'9 senior forward with another try and the touch. Center Grove led Franklin 54-31 into the fourth. Still some fight in the Cubs. Corey Richards had 15 points in the game. The turnaround jumper is good, but CG still in command. And the Indiana commit Jackson Davis, a big reason why. Sweet hook shot off the window. Trojans a comfortable advantage. Center Grove wins his game by just three points shy of last November's result. Justin DeGraff closing it out. Center Grove defeats Franklin 65-48. Back-to-back Johnson County champion. Now to the girls' side. The Raiders of Cardinal Ritter hosting an Indiana Crossroads Conference matchup, welcoming in the Panthers of Park Tudor. PT on a run of wins as of late, defeating Cecina Memorial and Beth Cena more recently. A get it done kind of night. Let's see how the Lady Panthers matched up. The host Raiders 14 and six under head coach Tom Downard, six and one in the conference, a penny away from the top spot currently held by six and oh Triton Central. Every conference game matters. Early in the first, Lady Raiders would keep it even. Chloe Olenjnik driving left good off the glass. Game tie. Park Tudor then doing a nice job in their half court set, spreading it around. First shot, no good, but the Panthers pounce. Alyssa Honingford there for the putback. The show continued into the third. Five and some change left. Panthers lead and add to it here. Senior Taylor Nibs from one end to the other. The strong finish. Panthers led 27-24. Still in the third, Ritter responds. Olenchnik, artful in the paint. Ritter seeking revenge into the fourth. PT not backing down, taking advantage of second chance opportunities. Down 39-37 with under five left. Freshman Hallie Schelt with a big tray. New ball game, one point lead, but not to be denied. 
Ritter strikes courtesy the junior, Megan Sandifer. She parts the Red Sea. Cardinal Ritter defeats Park Tudor 47-44 the final. I'm Kiara Hay and let's keep the pace with some more girls basketball. Over to the Tiger Den at Yorktown High School to catch a matchup between the Tigers and the visiting Trojans of Newcastle. The name of the game, rebounding. An offensive board for the Trojans, Layla Smith with a give to Carson Morgan, the three ball keeps the Trojans lead. Tigers with some defense off the steal, Leah Alexander gets the bucket to go. Still down, but the sophomore gets her Tigers responding. The ball bouncing for the Trojans, freshman Carson Morgan with another three ball. She would shoot four of five from behind the line, as the Trojans charge in the fourth up by double digits. Yorktown not finished yet. Sophomore guard Leah Alexander sparks some energy with the three, but the Tigers would trail. Newcastle sealing the deal in the fourth, Chloe York with the extra pass to Mackenzie Bridgman. Bucket is good and enough for the Trojan win. Newcastle defeats Yorktown 55-28, the final. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that one of the fastest growing sports in the world is competitive gaming, otherwise known as eSports. Several years ago, LTU recognized that the job market would soon demand professionals in coding, graphic arts, and other skills. Graduating with a Lawrence Tech degree in game art gets you prepared for a variety of professions in one of the most fun and challenging fields in technology. For the third straight year, LTU has partnered with State Champs Esports by hosting a postseason tournament to determine the League of Legends Great Lakes champion. And LTU has stepped up by offering nearly $16,000 in scholarship money to the champs and other competitors. 16 teams will be invited to compete for the grand prize on Lawrence Tech Southfield, Michigan campus. If you're in high school and want to start a League of Legends team, it's so easy. All you need is to find a teacher to be the coach and help represent your school. Five players per team. You cannot wait because registration ends the week of January 21st. Competition begins next month. Register at statechampsesports.net. Slots still open to teams from Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. Sign up now. If you love high school basketball, you need to check out our brand new weekly basketball show, State Champs Hang Time Indiana, premiering every Wednesday on StateChampsNetwork.com, our State Champs TV YouTube page, Facebook, and all of your streaming platforms. Hang Time is your weekly connection to all the Hoosier hoops happening. Drake Wiley and Greg Rakestraw as they break it all down. It's the State Champs Hang Time Indiana show. Check it out right now. I've always been really good at math and science, and I knew I wanted to work in healthcare, but not as a doctor. So I chose Lawrence Tech's biomedical engineering program. I've pushed myself to take internships, like this one, at a hospital in an orthopedic research lab. Thanks to Lawrence Tech's unique, hands-on style of education, I'm graduating with a published research paper and a job. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I love working for Stryker. I'm genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Stryker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Now we jump into the water as the Eagles of Zionsville hosted the Royals of Hamilton Southeastern. And we start with the girls in the 100 butterfly. Devin Kitchell of Zionsville and Hannah Pugh were neck and neck at the turn, 
but in the end, it would be Kitchell getting the W here with the 56-84, and in second is Pugh with the 57-22. But the boys' results would be even closer. Andrew Christopher of HSE battles Zionsville, Corbin Kozad, and Holden Bowles for the top spot in the race, and Christopher with the edge here, outswimming Kozad and Bowles, 55-49 for Christopher, and a 55-52, 55-81 for Kozad and Bowles, respectively. To the girls' 100 freestyle, HSE's Abby Harder and teammate Allie Peterson off to a great start in this one. Harder, almost with a half a second lead at the turn, and she would continue that lead getting the W here with the 55-26, and Peterson in second with the 55-66. The boys 100 freestyle was up for grabs by anyone at the turn. HSE's Marcus Eden ties Charlie Crone, but the extra push here by Eden gets him the win with a 50-79 over Zionsville Crone, who had a 51-15. How about some relay action with the boys? The 200, HSE's top team consisting of Blake Ratliff, Zach and Nick Bostock and Andrew Christopher will come out on top with a 130-29, which was a close beat of Zionsville's posted time of 130-69. And in the end, it was the boys and girls from Hamilton Southeastern taking the match over Zionsville, 104-66 for the girls and 91-79 for the boys. Welcome to Lanesville High School, where the 7 and 7 Eagles look to break 500 against the 7 and 6 Christian Academy Warriors. Hello, everyone. I'm Drake Wally, reporting for State Champs. If you want more hoops action, check out our podcast every Wednesday, where it will be Hang Time Indiana for up to date analysis and coverage for all things high school basketball right here in the state. Lanesville looking for their first points of the game. Kevin Despain answers that request with a three off of a great pick from Jacob Wernett. Eagles now up three to two early in the contest. We've got about four minutes left in the first half. Low scoring contest, but Christian Academy cuts into that six point deficit with an Ethan Carrier assist to Chris Ballou. Eagles now up four. We've got halftime approaching as the Eagles have the lead. TJ Proctor pushing the ball down low with an incredible pass, then a kick out pass to Ethan Carrier for three and one. Warriors up one before the free throw. Moving through the third quarter, Eagles only down two, very close game up to this point. Three points up, no good, but Despain not to be denied with an offensive rebound and a putback. Game is now tied at a low score of 19. Going through the third quarter here, Eagles down just two in the ace to Spain, shoots and misses. TJ Proctor with the defensive rebound goes coast to coast with a finger roll, pushing the lead to four. Christian Academy comes out on top, low scoring affair 40 to 35 in a narrow victory over Lanesville. Warriors go to eight and six and the Eagles will fall to seven and eight. Since the start of the school year, if at any time you went to our website, statechampsnetwork.com, you may have caught Scott Bernstein's rundown before. This is a quick video blog about the latest stuff going on in Indiana recruiting and other news. He loves lists like most underrated or the most impactful teams and players. He's a proud graduate from the 90s of the University of Indiana, and we promoted him to the television show. Here's Scott Bernstein with what he calls the rundown. Welcome into the rundown. I'm Scott Bernstein. We're here every week talking about high school hoops in the state of Indiana. This week we're going to talk about the scintillating, sensational supporting casts that you need to know about in the Indianapolis area. Uh, you all know about the big dogs, but in order for the big dogs to eat, the little dogs got to set the table, cook the meal, so to speak. And when we're talking about big dogs in Indianapolis, you got to start talking about Center Grove's Tracy Jackson Davis, the number one player in the state, and Carmel's John Michael Malloy uh, going to Butler. Tracy Jackson Davis is going to Indiana. They're the two best big men in the state, but they've got some swag nasties surrounding them, and that's who we're gonna shout out. We're gonna roll call it, starting with Center Grove. Justin DeGraff is having a breakout season in the front court next to TJD, uh, a six foot six agile athlete. He's athletic. He's aggressive, he's active. He's what I call a Wall Street workhorse, a Dow Jones dandy, a guy that's recruiting stock is just shooting up 
uh, shooting up the charts right now. And then we're gonna go over to the backcourt. Ben Nikosin, he's just a bulldog of a point guard, a facilitator, uh, a coach on the floor, great floor vision, but he can also, uh, he can score the basketball if you leave him open. That's why I call this kid uh, nothing but nylon Nico. Then we got Spencer Piercefield, uh, a pure shooter, a cold-blooded customer in the clutch. His long-range bombing was a big reason that Center Grove uh, won a sectional last year. And let's finish off with a baby baller, TJD's baby brother, Taven Jackson. He has a chance to be the next big dog in Center Grove Cage Nation. Let's move over to Carmel, talk about their supporting cast. And when you're talking about supporting cast at Carmel, you gotta start with Karsten Winland, uh, just a lethal weapon on the perimeter, a hustle and flow specialist. This kid is a, uh, a, a great combination of uh, grit, scoring ability, intelligence, and savvy. Uh, then you're gonna move over to Drew Owens, who's been a real pleasant surprise shooting the basketball, dialing long distance, keeping defenses honest. Uh, and then let's talk about uh, Pete Suter, a freshman that's really flourishing on the wing, and then move over to Luke Hetty, the straw that stirs the drink for that offense, uh, a guy that has a great motor, he's a, a, a fearless floor general that really keeps that offense going, a quarterback of that Carmel offense. Check back next week on The Rundown. StateChampsNetwork.com is the heartbeat of the State Champ Sports universe. Compelling stories, the latest blogs and recruiting and news, and of course, literally hundreds of hours of all the incredible State Champs highlights you can handle. State Champs covers all high school sports in both the state of Michigan and Indiana. So bookmark StateChampsNetwork.com and check back every day. And for more video and breaking news, follow State Champs on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. State Champs is your home for high school sports. State Champs will be right back. I admit it, I love working with money, negotiating, and making big decisions. That's why I'm majoring in finance and economics at Lawrence Tech. What's truly amazing about the education here is the small class sizes that give me easy access to my professors who truly care about my future. They even helped me get a great internship. And I was able to fulfill my lifelong dream of playing college golf. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. We're getting reports that you have over 40,000 flavor combinations. That's right. May I examine one, ma'am? Is this real cheese? 100% real mozzarella, officer. Explain this dough. Made fresh daily. I'm gonna have to confiscate this as evidence. Aren't you a mall cop? All units, someone's in the fountain. 10-4. Tiger on the prowl. Flavor fanatics will do anything for our one-of-a-kind flavored crust pizza with meal deals for every budget. Hungry? Howie's! Since the dawn of man, storytelling has been the most effective and engaging means of communication. Whether gathered around the warm glow of a fireplace or the family television set, a compelling story has always moved people to action. At Yellow Flag Productions, the Emmy-winning storytellers behind our television programs are now helping clients create content that emphasizes their people and passions. Let us tell your story and share it with the world. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the ice. You're watching the highlights on State Champs. A special thanks to the Carroll Fan Club for the welcome. Grab your stick, lace up your skates. It's time for some ice with Indiana High School Hockey out of Fort Wayne. That's right, over at Sport One Parkview Ice House, we would bundle up for a cold night with two premier matchups. We start off with Bishop Dwinger taking on Carroll. The Saints would remember a cold loss in December by just a penny. Five to four against Carroll in their last matchup, it was time for another round. Carroll even on the ice looking red hot this season, leading Fort Wayne Amateur Hockey Association at 14-1, their only loss in the conference coming from Leo. The Chargers would be on top of their game heading into this one. A tough matchup to get us going in the first, 
some fight for the puck. Sophomore Jack Huffman comes away with it, makes an opponent miss, and with the scoop shot, Chargers score first, one zip. Dwinger trying to hold off the high-powered Chargers offense. Keeper Nicholas Allen gloves the high fast one by Huffman. Dwinger holds off for now. And in the second, Carroll finding some space in the zone. Huffman lets Cameron Perry, the league leading scorer, take the puck, drops it in the net, and the sophomore racks up his 20th goal in conference play. Chargers up by a few in the second. And on the ensuing faceoff, Chargers would own the name, charging at the net, Perry down ice. Over to Devin Perry for the Carroll score. I think those two might know each other. Carroll Chargers win big over Dwinger. Six to zip the final. Back onto the pond for the second matchup. It's that Snyder squad. The Summit City Panthers look to roar against the Leo Lions in the Battle of the Big Cats. Summit City coming in at 7-7, seven and seven, looking to pass 500, but one spot above them, the Leo Lions bite at 8-5. and five. And with three of the five league's leading scorers wearing Leo purple, this one would result in a battle to the finish. Scoreless in the first, Summit City would change that. Off the bounce, Joseph Hacker with the putback shot. Panthers head up 1-0. Later in the contest, Panthers would add to the lead. Another rebound shot, Austin Reasoner in the trenches. A two-goal lead for the Panthers. But give one up for the fadeaway. Parker Tracy, right time, right place in front of the zone. Falling away while shooting, Leo puts one up on the scoreboard 2-1. Looking to break even on the scoreboard, Leo would be in hot pursuit in the third. Tyler Grossman with the move, forcing the game to overtime. After a scoreless OT, it was time for a shootout. Leo was up, senior Carter Bonecutter would have more assists than goals this season, but it was one on one. Bonecutter makes the dice and Leo puts up the goal out ahead. Defense could be the story of the night. Summit City with the green light, down ice with a crack at it. But Lions roaring louder tonight. Goalie Kyler Bays there for the stop. Leo finds a W over Summit City after a shootout. 3-2 the final. We are always looking for input from the fans on what you guys want to see on State Champs Indiana. What games do you want us to cover? Or what great story should we tell? We cover all sports, so we know you guys in some of the smaller sports want more coverage. We're here to deliver. Simply go to our website, statechampsnetwork.com, and click the media and schedule link on the homepage. Then click on Contact Us. Hope to hear from you. Highlights of the Marion County Championship game between Warren Central and Lawrence Central is next. Stay with us. I love working for Stryker. I'm genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Stryker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. Back again. You know me. Pepperoni Asiago. Oh, he's so cute. What's his name? Pepperoni Asiago. <laughs> I just want to eat them up. <laughs> Flavor fanatics love us because we invented flavored crust pizza with 100% real mozzarella cheese and fresh dough made daily. Now get meal deals for any budget. Hungry? Howie's! I chose Lawrence Tech for the architecture program and volleyball team. Architecture is a great fit for me because I love math and design. Now I combine them with technology to create beautiful structures. At Lawrence Tech, I didn't have to wait until my third year to start designing. Our hands-on education begins right from day one. And I'm really excited about LTU's Design Center in Detroit. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Welcome back to State Champs, Marion County Tournament Championship time. 
It's no secret, Warren Central is the team to beat in the state. It's been a while since this team has tasted defeat. In fact, coming into this game poised to take sole possession of third on the state's all-time consecutive wins list. Would they do it? Not if fifth-ranked Lawrence Central had something to say about it, but we all know that is a tough task. Let's check out this week's main event. Marion Crown awaits who will take the county championship. Last year, much talk about the undefeated Warren Central Warriors defending state champions. It gets better on an amazing winning streak. A win against opposing Lauren Central here would extend their streak to 46 games in a row. But the Bears, always well coached by Al Gooden. They took out their rivals Lawrence North and Southport to get here. This would be a fight to the finish. A lot of action, so let's go. LC took the fight to the defending champs throughout the contest. Held a five-point lead at the half. Third quarter action here via the slow-mo cam. The junior guard Nigel Pack was leading it. Game high, 19 points. This big pull-up triple gave the Bears a 33-28 lead. But the Class 4A number one Warriors, 14-0 on the season, always with an answer. Jamison Smith finding a familiar name, David Bell, the Purdue gridiron commit lays it up and in. But Lawrence Central stay in the course. Jake LaRavia draws the defense with the dribble drive, kicks to Dre Davis for the 15-footer. He had a 12.7 rebound performance, bears with a 42-39 lead into the fourth but Warren Central kept ringing that bell. David Bell, just a few games back after a high ankle sprain suffered at the end of the football season, he was clutch. 12 points, seven rebounds, five dimes, Warriors down a $2 bill. Lauren Central continued to hit from the perimeter as well. The 6-7 SIEU signed senior LaRavia from beyond the arc, bears hold. So the Warriors under a little duress now as the clock beginning to wind down. Manuel Brown ain't worried. Beeline to the basket. Warriors one strike away from the equalizer. They get it right here. Brown will spot Isaiah Moore who stops and pops. My goodness, Warren Central locks the game at 49 apiece. And give the Warrior defense some credit here with a stop down court. What can Brown do for you? How about a county title? Warren Central holds on and defeats Lauren Central 60 to 56 the final. Third longest winning streak now in Indiana State history. Give them the hardware. Warrior Nation, we hear you. I mean, it feels good, but we got this is not this, we're not done yet. We still got a lot of work to do and uh, we're just going to keep improving. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Brand new show next week. And we're always creating the most unique high school sports content from inquisitive blogs to state champs archive videos to the best hockey and basketball rankings in the state. Go to our website statechampsnetwork.com and spend some time there because we're in Michigan too. So there's definitely lots to check out. That's right. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day to everyone. We will see you very soon. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University where Blue Devils Dare, also working in partnership with the Indiana High School Athletic Association.